Bon Johnning, ladies and gentlemen, Sogmians and Punabs. Today we're going to look at the Visus Ballad and the Busan Maidenheart. But first, a word from our sponsors. Blip, 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 blip. That's right, thank you, Lloyd. This video is brought to you by me from the club. If you're looking for a guild, join the club today. Blip, blip, blip. Okay, let's get into it. So, I'm in the uh, in the showroom, currently looking at the PSC-11. Fantastic ship. And we've got a request. We've got a couple of requests. We have got... Wiki, wiki, wick. Wiki, wiki, wick. I'd love to see the ballad review. Alright then. I'll do that for you. And we've also got from Dextrin or Onur. We've got, hey Lloyd, can you do a detailed review of Maidenheart in the next video? Yes we can, and shout out to Turkey. Okay, so get rid of those, thanks, wiki wiki wiki, and Dextrin. Now, Maidenheart was the first request, so that's the one we'll look at first. Hmm. Maidenheart. Already a red. There it is. Now we've seen that before in a previous video that you can find just up here. Where we go through all of the, the big ones. The big boys. Let's get right up close to this ship. Um, also in a previous video, uh, which you can find by browsing through my videos. Um, we uh, compared this against the Eiffel Tower. It's basically the same size as the Eiffel Tower. That gives you a, uh, a good idea of the size. Let's get into camera mode here. Uh, we can't actually get up close to these ships because they're off, off the pier. They're off the border. But what we can do is just go into a little bit more detail, get up the Explorer, and see what they're all about. So this is it. See those four huge guns? Ah, fantastic. They're like uh, two arms coming out the side of this ship. Uh, maybe if we go across here, get a little side view. Nice. Oh yeah, that's good. And then you can see the uh, the character there that we left behind on the pier. Very nice indeed. Uh, right, so if I can get the Explorer up. One second, please. You need to get prepared, you silly, silly boy. Uh, all right. Bing. There we go. Busan, Maidenheart. So, this ship, if we just get a slightly better view there, maybe I can zoom out slightly. This ship has a total supply of 375 only 375 of these ships can ever be in existence until people can start making them themselves in game but uh, that's going to take a very very long time until that point only 375 across all of Star Atlas and initially it was uh, launched back in May at a price of 29,300 USDC and then uh, the final supply price. Oh, we got we got actually three pl prices: twenty-nine thousand three hundred, thirty-two thousand eight hundred and fifteen, and then the final uh, origination price: thirty-six thousand seven hundred and fifty-five. That's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of dosh. Let's see what you can get with that. Uh, it's four hundred meters uh, wide. That's from those huge wings on the side there. Uh, 340 meters high, and the Eiffel Tower is approximately 300-ish, I think it was. It was just over 300. Uh, 330 even? I can't remember now. And uh, length, 189. So very tall, very wide, uh, not very deep. And it's classed as legendary, legendary rarity. 375 of them. Description. The Maiden Heart. The first in line of capital vessels from Busan, the Maiden Heart is unmistakable. Cunning stealth capabilities combined with an overbearing arsenal make for a military force any fleet would yearn to enlist. Expansive interior spaces provide accommodations for a robust crew of trained specialists. 
This proud testament to Sogmian manufacturing design and artisan shipcraft solidifies and eternalizes Busan as a true captain of industry. Wowee. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be an incredible ship, isn't it? Shall we scroll down and take a look at the, uh, take a look at the images? A quick look through. Um, yeah, here we go, yeah. There you go, you can see the, the, uh, the main thrusters there at the rear, which we can't see in the showroom. We can't get behind it. Fantastic ship. And you can find this, uh, all these images, on uh, the, uh, the main Star Atlas website. Uh, what I'm on at the moment is the club's Explorer app. Explorer.staratlas.club. Link down below. We're going through these now. Nice, look at this. Oh yeah, very nice. This is the bridge. We have one of the pilots or co-pilot there. Cool. Oh, and this looks like the Busan Thrill of Life in one of the hangars. That may be the main power core. We don't know, but maybe. And there's kind of like a blue, 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 blue blueprint. Yeah, nice ship. What about the slots? Slots, slots, slots. Slots, we've got. Remember, this is a capital class ship. So we've got one capital power supply, a capital warp drive, a capital radar, capital tractor beam, commander size shield generator. Very nice. Thank you, Visus. Visus, uh, sorry, Busan. <laughs> Get it together. Uh, Busan. Uh, remember, Busan is the Oni uh, specific manufacturer. Uh, so the Oni are obviously good at their shields. We've got capital size impulse engine, capital maneuvering thruster, uh, four capital weapon hardpoints, and that's very obvious to see where they are on uh, each kind of arm, aren't they? Two on each arm there. One capital missile bay, one capital countermeasure, and one capital hull reinforcement. Crew, we've got a captain, two pilots, two co-pilots, four scanners, ooh, uh, six turret gunners, three engineers, one repair engineer, one tractor beam operator, and a cargo foreman. And modules, uh, you can just see there, we've got a capital sized drone port, uh, a capital sized fuel slot, and a large brig. Oh, oh cool, very nice, large brig, we like that. So. Uh, if you've got loads of money, here you go, you can be a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, that'd be quite excessive as a bounty hunter, I think. So that's the uh, the Busan Maiden Heart. Should we take a little uh, closer look around the other side? Here we go. Nice. We can almost see around the back there. Just almost. So close. Yeah. But look at it. I mean, it is huge, isn't it? Fantastic looking ship. And from Busan, the Oni manufacturers, which, uh, as a reminder, uh, oh, where, where do we have it here? There we go. There, see? Uh, dear me, get out of the way. Yeah, so, uh, Busan, Oni, and the next is the Visus Ballad, and Visus is Uster. Ah, uh, get rid of that. Now, I had the Explorer in the way, as usual. So, we'll just look again at the, uh, the Busan Maiden Heart there. Then we'll go and load up the Visus Ballad for you. There we go. Beautiful ship. Beautiful. Don't look over there. Don't don't look. Don't look. Whoa. Okay. Visus Ballad. Coming right up. Just for you. 
Wicked, wicked, wick. Where are we? Capital. Visus Ballad. Bing bong. Here it is. Oh, yes. Do the usual. Get right up close. Then we'll get the camera out. Wow. Looks like quite a lot of weapons on this one. A lot of visible weapons, anyway. The Maiden Heart may still have them, but... Uh, they were much more easy to see here. The smaller ones. Camera, where are you? Alright. Let's get out of here. So. The, the, uh, the Visus Ballad. Here it is. Capital ship again. Same as the, uh, the Maiden Heart. Now. Is it obvious to you which direction this ship travels? Because I... I was always thinking... That it was, uh, it was traveling from this way. It was traveling that direction, see? So, here is the front. Here is the the aft end. But actually, it's it's the opposite way. And I've only just realized it uh, looking through the pictures before I got onto this uh, video. Maybe I was the only one that uh, that thought that. But, uh, yeah, because because of the, at the, the forward end... Uh, well, it's the aft end here. There was this... Um, there were these... Uh, on the images, there were these ships uh, loaded up on the on the deck. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's get the ballad up in the Explorer. Explorer.stylers.club Yeah, here, see? So there were, there were ships loaded up on there, and uh, I just kind of... Well, I, I just didn't see these, these thrusters here. I was thinking the ship... This was the front of the ship, but it's not at all. So, anyway, again, I may be the only one that actually thought that. But, uh, yeah, so, here it is. Let's go back to explore it. We'll go on to the supply. So, this ship, uh, what was it? The Maiden Heart was three, 375, wasn't it, the total supply? Uh, the Ballad is 380. So, very similar, but five more of these available. Um, you've got a width of 155.5 metres. 110 meters high and the length is 420 meters long. It's a big big ship But this is considered epic epic rarity not legendary Hmm hang on. Let's just double check that did I get that right maiden heart. What was it? Oh hmm. Interesting Interesting so the supply is very similar and yet the maiden heart is considered legendary Whereas the uh, the ballad is only epic. What does it say on the Star Atlas website here? Let's take a look. Make sure that the explorer is correct. We must double check this. Uh, Maiden Hearts. Item details. Yeah, 375. Uh, ballad. Da, 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 da. Item details. 380. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, there you have it. Supply now. So we had uh, initial supply back in March um, of 30,000 USDC. You could buy this ship. Uh, and then uh, that was a limited supply. Then it went up to uh, 34,385. And then 37,660 USDC. Take a quick look at the gallery here. Yeah, okay, this is the one, see, that you can see very clearly which uh, is the direction of the ship. You've got the, th the rear thrusters here, propelling the ship this way, and this is the, the forward end of the ship, with the huge uh, guns on the, on the forward there as well. And actually, I've got here, let me see, some uh, enlarged images here. There, look at this one. Oh, 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 oh. There. So that's the... Uh, see this, this area here? This is the bridge area. You can see these kind of windows. And that corresponds with... You see here... This bridge area here. In, this, is in, in, this is inside the ship now. Yeah. So there you have it. Again, this is Ooster. Ooster ships. Ooster tech. So if you have an Ooster crew... Uh, they're going to know the ship technology much better than if you had an Oni or a Mud crew. 
but the Oni and Mud crew can also level up and learn the skills over time. As far as I'm aware. But what do I know? The game's not even out yet. Let's zoom in here. So we can see all of these uh, all of these turrets kind of dotted around, and we can we can also see that on the actual ship itself. Let's get a bit closer. Yeah, see all these. Oh, get out of the way! Goodness me! You are so forgetful. There you go. So there you can see uh, up there the, the bridge at the forward end and those huge cannons at the front, forward. So a good way of, uh, if I couldn't, um, if I, I'm trying to tell you which way the ship goes here, uh, the best way for me to tell you is we're looking at the starboard side. Yeah, so you would very easily know that this is the starboard side which means this end is the forward, that end is the aft. Easy squeezy, lemon peasy. Uh, you can see the flight deck there, that would have some uh, ships on it, and in the Explorer you can see we've got a Visus O-Pod on this one, and we've got one, two, three, four Visus Umbways. So that's kind of what you can fit on this deck. Maybe you can fit some more at the, at the back here, not sure. But pretty cool, pretty cool. So this is a, a you know, a, a real fighter, an aircraft carrier type thing. And I loaded up for you here the Visa Sopod as a little bonus and the Amways. Have a quick look around here. So this is what the O-Pod looks like. We can go into more details later. Then we've got the Amway and another Amway. So all of those plus more could fit on this ship, it's what it looks like. Should we go have a look at the slots now? Oh my, oh dear, get out of the way. Jeez. It's beyond, uh, beyond a joke now, isn't it? There you go, have a, have a better look. I keep forgetting, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at one screen and you're looking at another. Uh, we'll get used to it, there you go. Hey! Visus! Oh yeah, that can make a good shot right there. Visus. Bing bong! Snapshot taken! Alright. So, slots. What do we have here for slots? Well, I can tell you. We've got... One capital power supply, capital warp drive, capital radar, capital tract beam, capital shield generator, capital impulse engine, capital maneuvering thruster, two commander size weapon hardpoints. Hang on, yeah, we are on the right side, the right one here. <laughs> two capital uh, commander weapon hardpoints, four capital weapon hardpoints. They were at the uh, the forward end there that we saw, and then four large weapons. One capital missile bay and a capital countermeasure. One capital hull reinforcement. Crew, we've got a captain, two pilots, two co-pilots, three scanners, eight turret gunners, a drone operator, two engineers, one repair engineer, hangar foreman, a rescue crew, tractor beam operator, cargo foreman, and we've got capital hangar, capital drone port, and a large med bay. So. That's a lot to take in, so what we can do is go to the compare page. We can go onto the capital ships and we can compare the Ballad and the Maiden Heart. There we go. So now we can see uh, supply 375 versus 380. Price, we're not going to be, we're not interested in that yet. Like I said, the uh, Explorer is not quite correct on the prices, so let's ignore that for now. But Check it out, you might find a bargain. Not financial advice. It's never financial advice, that's right. Um, so here we go. So, power supply, warp drive, impulse engine, maneuvering thruster, they're all the same. The Busan Maiden Heart has a larger shield generator. Uh, hull reinforcement's the same. Weapon hard points. Maiden Heart has the four capital, four large. The Visus Ballad has four capital, four large, but also two commander size. So it's greatly more powered, 
well, has, has much more firepower than the Busan Maiden Heart. Interesting to note. Uh, then we've got Missile Bay, Countermeasure Bay, Radar, Tracks Beam, they're all the same. Modules. Maiden Heart was the uh, capital fuel and drone. Uh, Ballad was the capital drone and a ha capital hangar and one large med bay. Oh, and the uh, the, uh, the main heart also has one large brig. Um, then we've got crew. The difference here, uh, Maiden Heart has one more engineer. Uh, the the Ballad has two more turret gunners. And you, you could see there was a load of turrets, uh, turret guns on, on this ship, wasn't there, compared to the Maiden Heart. So that makes sense. Uh, one more scanner on the Maiden Heart. Uh, and the Ballad has a drone operator, hangar foreman, and uh, rescue crew. Uh, whereas the, the Maiden Heart doesn't. So that's the two for you to compare. However, what we haven't mentioned before in these videos is um, going back to the manufacturers. You have to take into account that they're, they're each going to have their own little uh, uh, pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, aren't they? So uh, that's something that isn't on paper right now. Um, I, I have been told uh, through Star Atlas that uh, we've got a, a full spreadsheet coming out uh, full of all the different modules and slots that are going to be available and which ship has them kind of hard built in and then which ships you can uh, upgrade them and swap them out as well so that's going to be really interesting to uh, to get hold of uh, in the coming whenever who knows when that'll be but there you go that is the busan maidenheart and the visus ballad ciao for now